Welcome to another Topic Tuesday. This is Dr. Michael McCall from Source Health Center. We're going to be talking about heart health. Let me tell you something about the heart. You can literally cut it out of somebody's chest and it will beat forever. And if you cut it up in little pieces, it'll still beat. It's like the strongest organ in the body. How do we find a way in this culture to make it so weak? Those are some questions to ask. Now, we measure heart situations in a few ways. We have blood panels where they check your blood, they check for cholesterol, the good and the bad, the triglycerides. We also have blood pressure, that's another indicator of a heart problem. We also have EKGs, which measures the electrical conductance of the heart. Now we have stress tests. Those are all valid measures, but unfortunately, um, except for maybe the blood panel, um, those indicators are usually, by the time they find it, there might be some heart problems already, especially with an EKG. So, what you want to be able to do is, how do I get out of this mess? Well, there's this genius called Royal Lee who started Standard Process, and he actually started answering that problem, but he found that when we started industrializing food is when we started to see heart disease because the body was missing key nutrients that, um, if it doesn't get it in time and over time, it eventually will start manifesting symptoms. And one of those is heart disease. So, um, what makes a healthy heart? Well. The heart loves oxygen, and your body uh, well, don't use as much oxygen if you're eating sugar. Now, if you're eating good fats, your body will utilize that fat much better. In fact, I know that we've had this whole scare by the AMA for decades, and now they're coming around and going, well, trans fats weren't as good as we thought, and these types of things. I'm telling you folks, um, there's a lot more we need to learn about our hearts. Um, so uh, this whole month, we're going to be talking a little facet. Next, next week, we're going to be talking about blood pressure and how there's some other ways you can do to lower blood pressure. And I look forward to carrying you through through this beautiful month of February, Valentine's Day, thus the heart theme. Until then, beat on. Have a great week.